Good evening, everyone. Let me hide that for a second. You're not ready to know what that is. <laughs> it's for forbidden knowledge for now. Yeah. How's everyone doing tonight? Yeah. Are 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 you ready to rock? As a band, I enjoy once put it. Did most, they most? Did mm -hmm. they copyright that uh, phrase? Like the uh, uh, "Are you ready to rumble?" guy. Uh -oh. uh, I, I don't. I, I, if memory serves, uh, most of those most of those words are spelt as either uh, single letters or numbers, so they might technically have some sort of copyright on that specific uh, phrasing because it's the title of a song or an uh -huh. album. I forget which. But you said it out loud, so they can't catch you on that. Absolutely, I, I can't imagine Blue Oyster Cult are big into suing people. They're too busy playing for bikers. Nice. We had some bikers come through Toronto the other week. Uh, I think one of the big guys at uh, as a part of the Hell's Angels had passed away, and they were doing like a tribute to him oh, by riding through uh, downtown and causing a bunch of noise. As as they want. They might technically be a criminal organization, or or just hooligans who who can splitting well, hairs. Those, oh, those hell's angels! They they like to teeter back and forth over the line. Mm -hmm. It's what they do. All right. So uh, I did want to get the game loaded up here, and what we have is Valhalla Kids. Hold on. What? What in the, what in the name of Muppet Babies is this? Yeah. How, how do you, how do you take the concepts of Valhalla, which involve you know going to a bar, beating up people for money? Wait, no, that's a different thing. Uh, you know, whatever Dorothy does in her off time, and make those uh, kid friendly. Well, uh, one year at for April Fool's Day. Uh, the creators of this game decide to find out. Uh, so it is by the same uh, art director. You, you can't tell by the style, but it is the same people. Uh, and then a couple other uh, programmers and writers uh, all made in uh, RunPay. So that that's a great visual novel building engine mm. for programming things. Uh, I think Valhalla itself was originally programmed into that until they went and like made the drink uh, drink menu branching pass thing more complicated than that could allow. Uh, I, lo I love it when a game gets so ambitious the uh, pre-made software I'm using doesn't cut it and I have to make my own. Yeah, base. I th this was likely also made in very little time. I imagine it should just be a short, uh, short adventure. All it, right, all right. Um, found it on itch.io, the same place I uh, discovered the Disco Elysium Game Boy Edition. <laughs> Still amazing about that. I, I had to get a uh, Game Boy emulator to get that running. Actually, <laughs> that's. <laughs> So, so it's not. It's not just. It doesn't just look like a Game Boy game. It is in fact an actual Game Boy game. It, it will run on Game Boy if you like. Uh, flash it to a cartridge and plug it I, into I, a Game Boy. The you gotta love that level of dedication to the bit. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys have not been hearing music because it has been quite loud in my ear. Uh, while I wait for the show to start, so let me turn that back on. Get that uh, quiet down a little bit. There we go. So this should uh, just be a quick adventure, and then we will resume the events of uh, Valhalla proper in the yeah. year 2069. Uh, there should not be spoilers for the game itself in here. Uh, just know that Gabby's here now. Uh, she's hanging out. I, I guess this Jill and this Gabby never got into a fight, so don't worry about it. Uh, who would, do you want to be the main character today? Do you want to be boss? Sure. Throughout most of this. All right, let's start up a new game. It was a cloudy, humid day. 
kind of day that saps you of your will to do anything at all. It's Grim Fandango all of a sudden. <laughs> I was minding my own business after class when a girl showed up at the door. Excuse me? Dana? Holy! And then a do and then a donor kebab crashed through the window. Donor like donation or donor like uh donor like a type of kebab? Question mark. It's a great question. Ellipses. Ah. No. Sorry, you Ah, Stella! No. Dana looking very much like her uh Tsukiban uh form. Yes. The, the full effect. Is this a bad time? You saw nothing. What's up? All the ears. You, you see, it's about say. Say no more! Who I have to beat up? That's the thing. We don't know yet. She was working on a booth for next week's festival. She was storing it in the auditorium like everyone else, but... Schoolyard. She she actually wouldn't bother Dana about this? Everything's fine, don't worry. It's not fine! <laughs> you poured your soul into that booth and you, to make it perfect. I didn't really... And then someone came and destroyed it. You deserve better than that. I didn't do much, so I didn't lose... Filthy jabronis destroying the hard work of an innocent girl! I'll track their asses down and make that. And use the phrase jabronis. Yeah. You, you cut out a little bit there to make them pay. <laughs> I'll track down their asses and make them pay. Yeah. If you can't quite see it on uh, on stream, uh, Dana's got steam coming out of her mouth and a row of shark teeth. Please don't get so excited about it. But first, I gotta ask some questions. Great, I'll be your I'll be at your base if you need me. Why there? Because that place is a mess. How can you stand being there? You can't even walk properly. Right, uh I just can't leave it knowing it looks like that. Now go. I gotta go find that. You go. You gotta go find that terror terrorist. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Where should uh, I start looking? Maybe I should ask someone. Yeah. So these are our controls that we have to interact with the world now. Of move, talk, and look. I think. So move to a different location. Talk with everyone here. Look around the area. Let's start with Stella. We gotta get to the bottom of this atrocious mess. Where do you think I should start looking? The auditorium, of course. That's where this whole thing took place. Sounds good. And say... Thanks for worrying, Dana, but it's not... It is! I just can't let a scumbag like this roam free in my school. Then, um, be careful, okay? Uh, do we get to keep cops? You should go. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's look around the area just to be sure. Crush booth. I won't let this booth's death be in vain. It didn't really die. Of course it didn't. It lives within us all. Oh. Uh, in our hearts. Um. Uh, let's look at say. Hey, let's see. Everything okay? It's not. I can see misery plain as day on your face. Look at her. She's so broken up about this. I'm not. Plain as day. And still, what's she got going? So fluffy. She's got the cat ear. She's got real good cat ears here. Eh? Mm -hmm. Can I touch it? You'll have to be more specific about what. That thing on your neck. Ah. <laughs> Only if you wash your hands. 
But the bathroom is too far away. Ah, forget it. Not worth it. Remember to wash your hands, everyone. All right. So we could go back to base or the auditorium where the action is. Auditorium J.K. Lawer. All right, let's check out, check out the ah. Uh... You can't pass. Whoa! Why not? Because I'm the law, and the law says you can't pass. Yeah, but why? Hi, Gabby. I see that this is your character now. Because I'm the law. Um. Oh, it's you, Gabby. Agent extra uh, extra awesome, Agent Gabby. And who gave you authority? Uh, authority? What's that? The power to say that I can't pass. The law. But aren't you the law? Yes. Then who gave yourself pa Then you gave yourself power? I did what? You say you're the law. I am. And the law gives you authority. I thought yes. And then you gave then you gave yourself authority? <laughs> <laughs> Playing mind games with a child. <laughs> Say, where's Jill? At, at the entrance near the blue tree. Thank you. Alright. We're gonna call in the uh, sister in law. Blue tree. Uh, let's take a look before we move on. Hmm. Hmm. What? How old are you, Gabby? I'm eight. I'm this many years old. You look se look like you're seven to me. We did change all the characters down by like half. I'm not. I'm eight. I'm not small anymore. But you're not as big as me. I'm medium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you own that eight year old Dana. <laughs> Audit auditorium, J.K. Lawler. Almost threw hands with a child. A controversial figure to some, but a man I can't help but respect for all his accomplishments. Valor stealing bastard. Jill says he's a lich, a latch, a lecherasada. Old man. Lecher Rasadada. Oh, That's one of many things he is. And back. I think we can try talk. What if I gave you some candy? You can't bribe me. Crap. Is this what I've sunk to? A bribing punk? Um. Is a bribe when you tell me something because you think I'll believe it? I think that's fooling. That too. You can't cooling me. Uh, she looks very eight. Uh, entrance. Which we should find our... Find our Jill. Hey, just the girl in the tits I was looking for. Dana, can you come closer and cheer up Gil for, Jill for a bit? I don't think Gil gets to be in this game. <laughs> what? What happened? N nothing happened. Were you crying? Who the fuck made you cry? Nothing. Who's nothing? Nothing made me fucking cry. I just kind of did. Ah. Aw. I know, right? Are you, to are, you here? are you here to patronize me too, boss? Nope. Uh, oh, this is a Renpeed title. I can just scroll up to get back. Uh, maybe later. Say, can you do something about Gabby? Did that brat sneak into the cafeteria again? 
I wish I have a craving for pickles right now. What? What's this about pickles? Last week, Gabby snuck into the cafeteria and put pickles on it in everything. <laughs> oh god, that girl. So what's she doing this time? She's blocking the auditorium entrance. She saying she's the law. Ah. Mm. Don't worry, it's almost her nap time. <laughs> she'll be out of there in no time. Really? Yeah, she'll probably be gone by the time you get there. Ah. She also says Gabby should be gone by the time I go back to the auditorium. Yeah, so we could uh, continue that. Let's take a look around. Tree. Is this the blue tree? Looks very blue. Blue what now? Gabby says you be near the blue tree, whatever that is. Knowing her, that could mean many things. Blue tree, glue tree, dew. Ah, uh, must might be dew tree. Dew tree? One time she asked what little droplets on leaves were, and I told her it was dew. It's the tree that had the dew. Blue. Blue tree. Although the tree where I told her that is the one over there, not this one. Whoopsies. Hmm. What? Why are you staring? There's something twisted in how you look cute when you cry. <laughs> Now that may are happy. <laughs> but it's not half as cute as when you're happy, you know? Mm. I... Uh, I don't believe she's happy at all. Uh, happy at all, though. It's Louise Alma. Oh, shut the fuck up. These are some foul mouth kids. Really? Mm. Yeah. Jill's a bully target in this universe. I see how it is. It's rough. So, no dates today? Did I make it look obvious? You don't have your killer look mode, so yeah. She She's looking kind of like, um... The, t the tall one in Lucky Star. With the long mm. pink hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> killer look mode. What gives it away? Is it, di is it the different perfume? And the hairstyle, and your skirt, and your makeup. And you're not making your cleavage more obvious th than the fucking sun. Hmm, push them together. Uh, you haven't s stuck around to talk either. So to be clear, no one bullied you into crying, right? My uterus did. This is now making sense. Yeah. That one's beyond my reach. Don't worry, though. Crying is natural. I mean, you could punch your uterus, but that would make things worse. Do you cry, boss? You'd be surprised at how easy it is to make me cry, actually. So why do you want to go into the auditorium? Say's project for the festival got crushed, and I'm investigating. It was stored in there, so that's the scene of the crime. I see, I see. It's all in there. What do you expect to find there? Dunno, something epic? Like what, a copy of Homer's Iliad laying on the floor? Pause for laughter. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Fuck. Haha, -ha, made you laugh. Jill is 12, quite literally. Uh, back to the auditorium. Oh, Gabby's gone. Well, let's check the auditorium. Let's look inside the auditorium. Uh, do I take a look? Yes. New assets. Well, that's one hell of a... Big hole. Oh! Yahoo, Dana. You came to see the big hole, too? 
I came to investigate the place, but I didn't expect this. Investigate? What you investigating? Tell me, tell me. Well... That sounds like a, this is a bit of a long story kind of well. Let's talk in my classroom. It's cooler there. Sure. Uh, let's Don't take a look first. Our classroom. The plot thickens. That's not Dorothy. Who's Anna? Oh. Why, hello there. I'm Anna. Anna Graham. In a kitsune mask. And you might be... You might think we've met somewhere before, and you'd be wrong. How are you enjoying this adventure? I, for one, love to come through the games as much as I can. It feels great, doesn't it, to have your curiosity acknowledged and rewarded? So let me ask you to keep it up. Let your curiosity get the best of you. Who knows, there might be a reward at the end of it all. Or everything will crash and burn. Whatever comes first. All right, then. Rewarded for being... Uh... Extremely thorough and clicking mm. on everything, I guess. Yep. Ellipses. Oh, yeah, that. The weirdest thing happened. The kebab just went and crashed through the, through the window. Ellipses. You okay, Dana? Can I keep it? The floor kebab? If you don't care <laughs> where it's been, sure. <laughs> so tell me, what? who was with you at the auditorium? You saw someone? Don't play stupid. I bet you were there to indulge in some steamy action before seeing the hole. You've lost me. Doesn't uh, seeing a big hole get you all hot and bothered? Just me? So you weren't at the auditorium to make out? You were actually investigating? Well, yeah. And here I thought Honey finally hit the jackpot. Dorothy, please explain what the hell you're on about. Sex. People go to that auditorium to make out and to eat each other. So I thought the hole deterred you from exploring other holes. Yeah, no. Aww. Hmm. So what were you investigating? Safe's project got destroyed and it was stored there. And you think the ceiling crushed it? I thought someone crushed it. Well, the ceiling didn't just disappear. I heard they were clearing away rubble and debris before. To be honest, I'm more worried if someone got hurt. So mind if I take along for a bit? I'm kind of bored, to be honest. Only if I can take the kebab with me. Sure. Let's check on everyone, see if someone's hurt. Let me check people. So now we have uh, two main characters. We can talk to the kebab. <laughs> I wonder where it came from. It was sent from the heavens. Through the window? Heavens were heaven works in mysterious ways. Right, uh, move back to the base, I guess. I suppose. Sure. The Zane Dungeon. You want to just uh, take Dorothy as well, because we're going to be talking to... We're going to be sure. three people crowds now. Hello, hello! Dorothy? Hey, Stella, look at this. I just cleaned the place, and you bring a freaking kebab in here? But it was so lonely by itself. Where did you get it, anyways? It crashed through a window. <sighs> She's holding it in so she can. Sure, why not? <laughs> Is there a law? It says it stays then. No, I didn't mean. Ah, uh, never mind. I did my part. Whatever happens after is not my problem. Let me check it out now. Uh, let's take a look. Stella. Not a single hair out of place. Amazing. The kebab. I think that kebab is still undercooked. I call it rare. Can you eat rare kebab meat? Of course I can. True, but should you? Hmm. And the base. 
So this is the asbestos room. It's not what we said. <laughs> Alleged asbestos room. Iris made some people run some tests, and there was no such thing. It's always Iris. The name keeps coming up. I looked into it for a while, and apparently it was all a ruse. Why, though? The principal had cut the arts and crafts program for budget reasons. At least that's what he says. Something tells me he had a debt to pay or something. That's still budget reasons. But yeah, I guess he thought an asbestos problem sounded prettier than budget cuts. How are you using it, then? Mm. Good old blackmail! Nice. Uh, we've looked around everywhere. Talk to everyone. So you really were cleaning the place? Yeah. Why? Are you really that much of a maniac? Because no good deed must go unpaid. Dana was helping me find whoever wrecked Save's product, so I had to repay her somehow. Oh, so that's what that was all about. I just thought you were a clean freak. Speaking of freaks, what's up with the case? Well, we might not be dealing with an attack against Say. There's a high chance it was just a contrived incident. Contrived in a visual novel. <laughs> what are the odds? I don't deny the possibility of an attack, but right now, it seems unlikely. In a short story. Unless there's some... That's what the attacker wants you to think. Hmm. Oop. So back. And move. Let's check out other areas, then. Go talk to everyone again, so we can lengthen this game. Talk. Say. Say, say. Yes, yes? <laughs> when you found the booth, did it have debris on it? Yeah. Lipsies. So the ceiling did collapse on top of it. Why didn't you tell me this before? I tried to, but you were so focused on finding a copper that I wasn't able to. Hmm? Ell ellipses. Dana. Ellipses. Dana, Dana, Dana. Sigh, and here I wanted to punch someone. Now I just want to kick myself. Case solved. I'm worried someone... I'm kind of worried someone might have been hurt, you know? Me too. Come on, Dana, you still have one more duty. <sighs> School nurse. Betty, how are you doing? What were you buying before, by the way? Oh, you know, the basics. Glue, nails, paper, markers, booze. What was that last one? Markers. <laughs> deny, deny, deny. Uh, talk. Let's talk to Betty first. If you smell anything weird, it's the markers. Didn't we just talk to them? We we just looked at everyone. I right? see. Or I think I was. I think you're... Maybe you're right. Check on people. Maybe not. Oh. This is the look menu. Okay. What do you... So, what do you think, Dorothy? She looks cuter since she went back to wearing a female uniform. True, but what about bruises? None that look fresh enough. Oh, you say something? Um, say, were you getting in fights with boys? For Stella's honor. We're just cheering you on. Go, say, go! Hmm, <laughs> Betty. Hmm. It? Hmm. What do you smell, Dorothy? An answer. Something oh. wrong? How did you get those wounds? I tripped on my way here. When? When I was buying stuff for say? How long ago? No, we did things a little out of, out of war. 
Uh, it was like an hour ago or something. Why so many questions? Those bruises should be fresher. And unless you trip down some stairs, you shouldn't be so wounded. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, I was going to make out with Barrow when, when the roof fell and, and, and I tripped on Say's project running away and crushed it and... And now I'm sad and hurt and horny and and. Please. Oh my God, you dumb girl! Why didn't you get some help with those wounds? I, I. I'm sorry. I say I didn't want to. I didn't want to do it. I. Well, you didn't really crush it intentionally. If you did that, if you did that, it'd be harder for me. But. I'm honestly more worried about you. You could have seriously died there. <laughs> Didn't you say the booth had rubble and debris on it? It was probably there before I fell over on it. Hmm. Well. I guess that's that mystery solved. Why did the ceiling collapse, though? And where did the kebab come from? Mystery solved. Case anyways, <laughs> anyways, you need help, say? I do, actually. All right, count me in. Me too. Really? Awesome. Hours later. Woo! I'm beat. Bummer that we couldn't finish it today. All, all that time, we could have been helping Say instead of chasing shadows. <laughs> Sorry. Like Say said, it's not like you did it on purpose. Hey, it's Say. Thank you so much. It? Ah, so bright. I was worried I couldn't finish on time, but you all helped me out so much. I didn't just get back up to speed. I was having a lot of fun, too. Lipsies. <laughs> well, count on me for tomorrow, too. Me, too. And me. Everything turned out okay in the end, thankfully. I say we celebrate with meat. When did you get it back? When I went to the bathroom. You washed your hands, right? Of course! When? No more questions. Is that thing even cooked? Of course, just take a bite and... Ellipses. There's paper. You found it on the floor. I'm surprised there's only paper on it. Does it say something? We have taken your friend Iris captive. Please come to the pier alone. <laughs> uh, and now was her save, girls. To be continued. Was that the ending I got? I felt like I got a different ending when I played. Anyway, that's all Hall of Kids. Yay! Uh, I love it when a prank comes together. Don't you? Yeah, was now with our, uh, so that's just a fun little diversion. I wanted to get that in before we, uh, we're ramping up towards the end, which we nearly are. So let's, uh, continue with our regularly scheduled adventure. I need to switch over what I'm sharing to Amal. I've combined two names there. Excuse me. Yes. It's all right. Uh, there we go. What were we doing before this? Day 16. So yeah, just, just a couple of days left. Yeah. Uh, you were doing main character, so I'll do main character now. So it's right. chilly today.
Jill, a kid's looking for you. Oh no, my heart's not ready. Oh shit. Hey. Ah, Norma. Actually, let me change the uh, stream. Uh, there we go. The stream category, because we are not playing Valhalla Kids anymore. Phew. You're back. Oh, God. Oh, fuck oh. you. You know, I'm not giving you any drinks, right? Crap, I said it out loud. Um, uh, uh, yeah, um, actually, I wanted to thank you. Phew, I thought it was for her. <laughs> or she thought it was for her. Thank me? Thank well, for starters, by not complying and giving me alcohol. Everything else would have fallen apart if I had some. Ah, so responsible, Joe. Lipses. I kind of faced my mom and told her all about the pressure she was putting on me. And said I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do. And? Well, she didn't speak to me for two days. After that, she told me it'd be a waste to spend money in university just for me to not give it my all. So she told me to still go to, to the college course, but that I was free to explore. Glad to hear that. And, well, I wanted to thank you for that. Me? If I just rushed heads first into my original plan, things would have gotten ugly. And you were right. I would be hurting her for the sake of hurting. So, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'll leave before it's too late outside. Be careful. Aw, it's so sweet. Shut up. Hey, Jill, mind helping me here? Sure. Make a bleeding Jane, please. On it. Bleeding Jane for Gil. So we, we're serving drinks, but we're not serving drinks to the person in front of us. Nope. Can I make this one big? Probably can. Probably can get a better tip for that. Bleeding Jane. Thanks. Hey, Joe, do you hate me? Hate is a harsh word. It's not against you directly, but rather the fact that only I can see you. Like I told you, if they wanted, they could see me. And why can I? You're the main character? Dunno. <laughs> what are you? A cute girl. Uh-huh. You okay, Jill? Making a lot of faces there. Hmm? Yeah, just remembering stuff. Could you give me a hand here and serve a beer, please? Sure. Beer for Gil now. All, is, all the highlights. Is, is Gil actually serving customers over there? Well, is he does he have, is he is he having an obligation other than Aaron Boy? He do, he does occasionally serve customers that we don't interact with. It's true. Thanks. Would you lighten up if I showed you I can interact with the environment? Maybe it'll spook me, but let's try. There can't see anything you sure yep weird nobody expects the Darth, Qu Darth Inquisition <laughs> you're right I didn't <laughs> Darth Inquisition <laughs> Darth Inquisition Darth Inqui ouch I did my tongue oopsies can't believe I'm using the spare tongue so early in the night. <laughs> well, it's important to have a spare. No, oh, Dorothy. Yeah. Ahem. Honey. Ah, hey, Dorothy. 
Not gonna react to anything before that. I'll make a quick stop for a drink. Can I get a fluffy dream? Sure. Fluffy dream for Dorothy on the go. It's a lot of flyby drinks this time. Hmm. Uh, you like Dorothy. Fluffy dream. Thanks! Oh yeah, before you leave... What, are you guys throwing a New Year's party too? Yeah. Sure, I'll be here then. Oops. Well, I've got things to do, so... You do. Who does what? Sorry, I sn sneeze. Weird sneezes. <laughs> I could, I could weird believe it. Weird sneezes, the name of my electronic aside project. <laughs> anyway, I'm out for now. Yeah. What was I thinking? Yeah. What what business does a ghost have? Uh, ghost business, presumably, whatever that is. Oh yeah, Joe. Has to file his go her ghost taxes. Exactly. Take care of Becky, please. Ellipses. Ellipses. Man, she was in a rush. Okay, fuck that noise. Fireworks are sold out everywhere. Aw, oh, darn. I'll need to get them through more shady means. <laughs> Boss, no. <laughs> She's gonna buy them from the internet. <laughs> that... That's somehow funny. She's like, oh, I'm going to buy them from Amazon. No, why would you do that? That's a yeah, horrible seen... thing to do. I, I can't fathom what the fireworks sold on Amazon must be like. They probably explode before they reach your house. Um, a mail truck burned down today when an illegal firework being sent to Amazon blew up. It's just marked hazardous material. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the hazardous material tape round around the entire box. Just in there loose. <laughs> rattling around inside. Yeah, rattling around in, in the truck. <laughs> She'll find them and put us all to risk of burning. I'll make sure there's an extra extinguisher at hand. Please. Let's see. Not here. Weird, I'd swear the tracks led here. Um... Ooh. Oh, I'm oh, I'm at a bar. Well, that's nice. Achievement unlocked on a hacking pilgrimage. Oh. So that that means this is in our secret character. Interesting. Can I get you something? Let's have a Brantini. You look like a Brantini kind of gal. Hmm. A Brantini for the mysterious visitor. I say gal, but they may just be uh, a bit androgynous. Androgynous with like that open chest area. That's that's a common uh, sci-fi choice of fashion. Yes. I'm thinking of the VTuber group that's all like from the future themes. Hmm. This seems right. And what brought you here? Um, I think it's better if my name remains a mystery for now. Uh, how cryptic of you. Mm. Would, you would you like this plum? Served <laughs> in pre perfume. The registry... S oh. The registry says... Error. Huh? The money's there, but the registry can't display the name properly. Still, what brought you here? Um, mysterious person. I'm following Alice Rabbit's trail. I want to know how deep the hole goes. Trail? A massive leak of White Knight's insider info from two weeks ago made it to global news. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you follow, follow Alice down the rabbit hole. It's yeah. generally how it goes. Curiosity got the best of me, so I started seeking the trail of the transmission. Do you work for someone then? No, you could say it's for fun. Just my hobby. Alice Rabbit is quite the urban legend, and I want to study it. 
I see. Oh no, she's Virginia Madison's character from Candyman. Mm-hmm. Hey, would you say Alice Rabbit is a person or a group? Excuse me? Well, there's people who say it would it may as well be a group instead of a just a person. If it can be just a group, it can also be just a symbol. Everyone using the Alice Rabbit moniker could be doing so as a way of staying anonymous while projecting clear intent. I doubt it, though. Why? Alice Rabbit's actions are too consistent. It can't be a group. And if it's a group, it's most likely coordinated by just one person. Every everything seems to fit an agenda. The attacks are too consistent and use similar methods. Really? I guess it can be hard for most people to notice beyond the consistent usage of the same bunny avatar. But the way the attacks are executed is always in the same vein. Not that it makes it easier to track, actually. Its tracks only get dimmer and dimmer with each attack. And so you came to check on what might be left after behind from the last hacking job? A pilgrimage of sorts, if you will. Mm -hmm. Say, would you mind giving me a Zen star? An Otaku pilgr pilgrimage. Sure. Let's give them the Zen star, which is part of everything. And on the rocks. Zen star. Here. As nasty as I remember. So what have you found? Can you share? Sure, why the hell not? I'm in a good mood. Well, whoever Alice Rabbit is, or are, they spent a lot of time planting seeds all over the city. Seeds. There's traces of the video being streamed from up to 23 different locations. All of them, all of them routers of different brands that blew up after the transmission. Every one of them using different ISPs, some even using internet providers from outside the city. There's even traces of programs that hacked into devices, giving it the means to access a network for as long as the broadcast lasted. Apparently, Alice Rabbit also accessed devices early to make sure they'd be turned on at the right time. Yeah. This is reminding me of a uh, hacking story I saw uh, that basically a high schooler did as his uh, senior prank, uh -huh. uh, where I think he just rickrolled the entire school. By, there you go. Yeah, by hacking into the, uh, not PA system, but like presentation system. So basically uh. every TV and projector is hooked up to a network. He put in a little like time bomb, basically, that was set to go off in uh, at the end, towards the end of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, and he could just leave that to go uh, on the last day of school, and and just let it run after putting it in there way in way in advance, so it would go off at the right time. And so yeah, it was interesting, and he was doing it in very in a very like trying to be respectful manner mm -hmm. of like the student's time and the teacher's time and he basically reported all of his filings to the principal and the security network right after he was done there you go yeah. white white hatting in its finest yeah we we do a little tomfoolery and then we patch up this hole exactly well the only thing without the transmission was my old CRT so yeah quite the craftsmanship let me tell you Left no trace whatsoever of where anything came from. Even if you look at the metadata and the leaked files left on all the devices after the transmission ended, there's nothing. Perfect crime, then. Not perfect. Compared to other attacks, like the first leaks that started riots around here, this one is... sloppy. More specifically, the means of destroying evidence wasn't as effective as other occasions. But thanks to the commotion at the bank, any attempts to investigate further were curbed by the madness that followed. I see. Well, I must keep moving. Oh, yeah. Name's Tomcat, by the way. Tomcat. Nice meeting you. Huh, the registry cleared up, too. Well, I guess that's it for today. 
You sure you're fine? I am. Don't worry. All right. Careful out there. Shortest half day in the game so far, mm. I think. All booze and no fireworks makes Dana a doll girl. We didn't even have a uh, break. Did we not have a break? I yeah. thought we were starting from a break. That might have been the case. I don't remember now. Residue on the 30th. Yeah, I guess it would have been a uh, break. But we can check briefly. You've been talking a lot with that girl Alma. Jealous. All right. Uh, save. Okay, yeah, we did start from a break. There we go. So, comment rescinded. Birth rates decrease as the youth prefers Lilum Company. Oh no, it's this, this chestnut. At the beginning of the century, the idea that people would rather be with robots instead of other humans was treated as a joke. But the reality is that the convenience of these kinds of relationships have become immensely popular among Glitch City's youth, to the point where birth rates are beginning to decrease at an alarming rate. Annie May, a 17-year-old student, agrees with the general sentiment. It's just so much better than dealing with our people, you know? You can just make your own perfect partner. Oh, and sex is amazing. <laughs> Don't even get me started. It's expected that new regulations will soon be announced to address the situation. Is it is it too soon to make jokes about Shinzo Abe again, or is it still in bad taste? I I don't think it can be in bad taste. Oh, okay, well it, let's just start the press conference as shambling corpse just comes up to zombie groan in the microphone. Dying <laughs> 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 in the front. <laughs> zombie Sh Shinzo Abe, you have no power here. <laughs> 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 Uh, I made gunshot noises because it's a zombie now. <laughs> it's appropriate For no know. other reason. <laughs> <clears throat> Wearing socks or sandals in public is now a crime. By Alana Smithy. I like to say we have the freedom to wear whatever we like in the cities of Glitch City, in the streets of Glitch City, so long as we adhere to decency rules. However, that's about to change. Lich City's Department of Public Decency has declared that wearing socks and sandals together is a punishable crime. If convicted, the guilty face three days in jail as punishment for using that abominable combo. But what do you think? Should we wear whatever we want, or should the fashion police of high society decide for you? Whatever the case, I think I'll simply stick to the right side of the battle. Goodbye, socks and sandals. Gods be praised. First silly law I'm all for. We did condemn socks and sandals earlier in the game, did we not? I believe so. I feel like there's a missed opportunity for some sort of fashion police, fascist police joke in there, though. Very true. But we we do already have the fascist police uh, state that is now in anarchy. Mm, so. True. Being only with Lum can be tiring, though. Missed that comment. Mm. BTC closing 40% of its bars in Glitch City. The British Trademark Council. Oh, that's what it stands for. Is that what? Really? Is that like the uh, the something trading company, East India the, Trading Company? Yeah, the, I guess. Yeah. Huh. It's now facing some economic troubles in Glitch City, and it looks like they're on their way out. Blaming rising inflation rates and a weak currency, the BTC has given the order to disband almost half of its regional businesses in the city. We can't keep doing business like this. Glitch, Glitch City has a negative impact on our earnings, and we can't continue in the can't continue in the red. A PR representative told the Augmented Eye. Prime Minister Quincy, on the, the other hand, thinks BTC is just too greedy. They make a lot of money already, and now they're crying because they can't have more. Give me a break. Oh yeah, this late to the party, Augmented Eye. I know. We've known that for two weeks. What's going on on the board? Okay, we did see that one. So mm -hmm. it's just the one new one. Any tips for a new friend in the in this wonderful land? 
Oh boy. Self-deprecating thread? Don't trust in white knights and don't go out after 5 p.m. unless you want to be mugged or murdered. Bring a portable chair everywhere. Everywhere. You'll have to line up for the floor. The flower. Blow. Get used to eat what you find. Shortages are getting out of hand. I've been eating rice with butter for months now, but I guess it could be worse. Please don't jinx it. I have enough as it is. So coming here was a mistake. Why would you come here anyway? Visiting family, but now I want to take them out. Do it while you can. Yeah, airlines are leaving the city, lol. Soon we won't be even be able to escape. Crying emoji face. Can I even get some weed in this crap hole somewhere? Yeah, I just PM'd you a good dealer. Uh, cl clown winky face? Yeah, Lenny winky face. Yeah, I never know what the nose is supposed to be. Maybe it's meant to be more friendly. I mean, it does look very friendly. Surviving, let's see. So you're saying this game was written by two people in Venezuela at its economic collapse. Who would have guessed? Unless I'm mistaken, my grandpa lived here before they turned it before they turned it into Glitch City. There we go. Uh Oh, we wanna we wanna Kira Vicky poster. Kira Mickey poster. I'm glad you were paying attention. Kira Mickey poster. Sold, returned. How much stuff how much uh, I think that's our there it is. poster. How's our funds? We're getting we're getting up there. We made like four thousand in the last couple of days. Not doing too bad. If we, need, uh... if we go back to the shop, there's this thing. That's two thousand dollars. Oh, let's 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 hold off on that one. Ooh. Oh boy. Woo. Cute clay houses. Yeah, that maybe that one. Ooh. A paper lantern. A lantern. Eat the staff. Get a Mickey banner. Uh, yeah, some of the yeah, not not that other one. Ooh. Jill bought what that she wanted and is pleased with herself. She will surely focus on work, and she will not want to get that item from oh, all this window dear. shopping. Gee, unless we get a real big bonus before the uh, before the rent hits. Dear mm. Lord. Woo. Maybe that's when you're making big drinks nonstop the entire time. Yeah. That, that might be a New Game Plus uh, purchase. I believe that. Thursday, December 29th. Good evening. Hey. Okay, so we've got almost everything. We're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. And so I designate you, Gillian Applegate, as official guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. Applegate? I believe it's that that's his last name. I have no idea who that is. It's you now, fuckboy. Why me? I could send Jill, but I wouldn't dare send a lady by herself. And I could go with her, but I believe the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all times. You're not going to say anything, Jill? If it means not being a delivered girl, I'm happy to fake helplessness. I'm, I'm so weak. My hands... My my poor back. Uh, fine, give me the list. I'm a weak and defenseless little girl. I'll be back sometime. Something tells me you're planning something, boss. What gives you that impression? Call it a gut feeling. Did you know Gil has a crush? He what? A client of his, a girl that owns a bazaar. She's been coming up to him for ages, and he's only just started opening up. But he's taking steps backward, and I'm not going to let him. He's opening up, for fuck's sake. And so the errands will take him to the bazaar, I take it? That's right. Huh. All right, then. To the office I go! As for me... Please stay here. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Gil with a crush, huh? This place. Great! Oh, if it isn't... Hey, Jill. Sorry, is there... But is there anywhere I can hide? We haven't seen you since day two. Yeah. There's an unpleasant guy on my trail. Boss, stocked woman incoming. The door is open. Yeah. Standard protocol. 
Go ahead. Oh. The door on the left. Thanks. Right, she needs to hide out. So she's going to uh, the boss. Hello there. Oh, hi there. The other one. That's the bathroom. Wait, what's the dog doing in the bathroom? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Now, oh. Where did, now, where did she? I thought we were free. Speak of people we haven't seen since uh, day two. Oh, the hellhole. Perfect. Hey, kid, I'll have the usual. Right. Huh? You remembered me after two weeks. Nothing's the usual is, drink, huh? Just a beer. Yeah. Big beer. Yeah, he disappears for several weeks and decides that he still has a usual. Is this our fault? <laughs> we are the ones encouraged him to quit. Yeah. Did... Oh, I was gonna say, is it our our fault that he keeps coming back to our bar? <laughs> that he thinks he's welcome here. Here. <laughs> That's, that's the trouble with customer service. When you're nice, to, you have to be nice to everybody. Sometimes they get the wrong idea. Mm. This seems right. The paper has been a mess lately. You don't say. You'd think that with all that's happening, they'd stay and do more reports. But they're all asking for vacations, and I can't afford to be understaffed. So I had to come up with some sort of reward for whoever produces the most reports. I see no difference in my feed, though. Mr. Donovan, I don't mean to sound rude, but... You do know the, the infamy of the augment, augmented eye with the general public, right? A shitty page that will over every anything and report useless things. Of course I know. Then why not try to rectify that image? To put it simply, I'm being clutched by the balls in a non-pleasant way. Oh, uh, not in the fun way, huh? Zaibatsu Corps and company have an eye on every publication they haven't bought yet. Report on them once and they'll find something to find you with. Twice and you'll find your resources severely cut. Anything beyond that, and the best case scenario is that they'll buy the damn operation to keep it quiet. I know there are more newsworthy things than whatever it is the lackeys picked out that week. If I overstep, my ass is on the line. Huh. Glad to see this hellhole is still in one piece. You almost sounded reasonable there, Donovan. Yeah. <laughs> the BTC has been going apeshit closing bars lately. Oh yeah, that. Yesterday they closed one that served as a key part of a drug trafficking ring. That would be why. And last week, they closed three small bars that served as illegal chicken restaurants. Oh, are they hoarding the Szechuan shosh? Oh, well, here's a question. Are they are they restaurants that serve chicken or restaurants for chicken? Mm -hmm. Rec restaurants run by chickens? Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Not to mention, there are like a hundred people who have BTC certification certificates, but never use them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some restructuring will begin at the BTC after this whole thing. Man, shit ran deeper than I thought. And no news outlet talks about that. Alright, kid, let's try a moon blast now. Come again? Hey, even I have to break the routine from time to time. That's one of those sweet, sweet and girly drinks, as if I recall correctly. I believe you're right. Sure is. Yeah, sweet, girly, and happy. All right, buddy. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. All on the rocks and blended. Double moon blast. That's a new one for him. Here. Now, let's see what the ruckus is about. Um, so... What brought you here? Oh, right. Didn't you see a Lilum coming in here? Blue hair, big tits. 
He's the one from the Encore concert coming up. Not really. She jumped to the roof then. Why are you, where are you looking for her? Do you, did you want an interview? Not really. Just hitting on her. Uh, normal business then. Hmm. Hey, I said hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring. That's slightly better? Oh, Mr. Donovan. Why, though? Are you that bored? Don't you have, like, a family or something? Have you seen that, girl? Hot as tits. Also, hot ass and tits. <laughs> I'm suffering the weirdest combo of being hard as fuck and curious as shit right now. Well, you can go stick it in a carp uh, exhaust bag. Oh, go! Hey, yeah. go to the. Uh, hey, wait. Go introduce yourself. Your, go chat up the uh, vending machine outside. Yeah, have, yeah. Ha tell them how much you like Prince. I want to know just how detailed those King Class C1 CHA1 models are, personally. And so you followed her. I've yet to meet a woman that can resist the charms of Donovan D. Dawson. I find that hard to believe. Yeah. You're in front of one, and I'm guessing you have quite the selective memory. <laughs> like I said, don't you have a family or something? A wife. That woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. In fact, I'm pretty convinced she gets off on the thought of me cheating on her. Ah, husbandry videos. Yes. So that Lilum isn't here, huh? I'll have to find a busty enough replacement tonight or I'll explode. Hey, after you're done glaring, please serve me a pile driver. Right. Let's just give him a pile dr a driver, literally. I'm up for that. Yeah. Three Bronson... Uh, whole off flammer deed. And the rest is alcohol. All mixed. Pile driver. Here. Here. Alright. Well, seeing as she's not here, I have no reason to stay. Maybe I'll find someone that looks a bit like her. Hmm. The guy left. Oh, all right. Thanks for sheltering me, Dana. Hope your sister likes the video. Were you guys watching husbandry videos back there? Psst. No, thank you. Seems you had a hearty talk. Your boss is such a fun person. Her sister is a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her and took a couple of photos. How nice of you. It's nothing, really. And she did hide me, so it's the least I could do. But, well, we're here already. Mind giving me something sweet? Sure. Miss Io wants something sweet. Uh, Moonblast, probably. Yeah, what about Big Brandini? Something real sweet. Six. Into camera train. Aged. Next. Which is worth three fifty in the bank. Here. Thanks. So, do you know why Donovan was following you? I don't. But I wasn't in the mood to deal with him. His questions were a bit over the line last time, too. Not the worst I've dealt with, but I just didn't want to humor him. And you didn't have to. I see. Seems like he was just trying to come on to you. You don't say. Well, not like he had a chance anyways. I, I appreciate the confidence. I'm not an older guy, and I'm already committed to a relationship. Figure. Wait, you are? It's not common knowledge, and the ones that hear it try to dismiss it as rumors, but... 
I've been in a relationship with my producer for a while now. <gasps> Scandalous. Gasp. Really? We were both single, and that kind of stuff is bound to happen when you spend so much time together. But it all started when he read an entry I made in my blog about wanting to experience love and the like. He offered to help with that after he read it, and I thought, sure, why not? I already knew him well enough. It wouldn't hurt to try. How nice. He's a stick in the mud where, where planning is due, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. I see. You know, I've met two fans of yours lately. Really? Both of them seemed so excited when they, they, were, they were talking about you. It was amazing. <laughs> I don't like the term fan too much. It strikes me as a bit pretentious, in my opinion. Are we about to find a more pretentious term? Possibly. I have many fans doesn't sit so well. I like many people who like my music better. Fan evokes an uglier and more pretentious image for me. If this game came out later, they could have said some. Mm. Do you like what I do, Jill? Do you like my music? To be honest, I haven't had much exposure to your work, but a few things I've heard are really good. And not gonna lie, having talked to you, I feel like I would support you even if I didn't like it. So nice to hear. Hey, this will sound familiar, but do you have anything like tea? Let me see. If I remember correctly, something bitter but girly is fine too. Yeah, we sure have tea. I guess if we missed it the first time, we could uh, serve it to her here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we would learn. Here. Perfect! Hey, you're a King Class Chia, right? That I am. May I ask you something about your model? Why did I make that pause? <laughs> sure! Are there any differences between you and a DFC 72? Hmm. We both serve the same purpose, but... DFC 72s have the port on their heads, which makes them more versatile. My line lacks that or the resilience of the DT... DT-01Ds, but we're a tad more polished elsewhere. Yeah. I think that was, um, Deal's model. Hmm. More specifically, our voice emulators are more advanced, and our movements are smoother. A trade-off of functionality and power for appearance, you could say. Ah, oh, I see. Hey, Jill, will you go to my next concert? I heard every ticket was sold out. Never mind how expensive they are. So I guess that's a no, sorry. Now you will. Here. Yeah. Is is this? It's a ticket for my encore concert. Sorry it's not a better C, but I can only get so many free tickets. No no, I mean this is amazing. I don't know if I can accept it though. You will. It even has a backstage pass so we can talk afterwards and you'll tell me how it was. Why give it to me? I don't know. I like you. You're attentive and hear me out. That behavior should be rewarded more. It it should be, is it? More, more mm. customers should be tipping me. But, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks. God, it feels so weird to get a gift. And from a celebrity, no less. Don't you think much about it. You deserve it. Although I guess I can understand how you feel about receiving gifts. I usually get quite a few from fans, but it always feels so... weird. I don't like feeling as though I got something for free. Luckily, I thought of a way of not feeling so bad about it. How? Just give it all, my all on stage. They gave those gifts to me after watching me perform. It's only natural for me to do my best and give it my all as a way to repay them. I should, uh, give it my all mixing drinks, then? Of course! I... I see. Well, I've gotta go, but let's have a sparkle star first. 
All right. Sparkle star from Miss Idol. Well, let's see. One, two. Oh. Oh, you... Didn't mean to do that. I meant to fill it to the brim, but this is fine too. It's optional, Karma Train. Yeah. Here. Sparkling! Well, it's always a pleasure, Jill. Please come again. Will do. Oh, the handsome bartender. Nice to see you. Oh, someone that doesn't think he's a fuckboy. <laughs> um, uh. Boss, Gil's back. I'll take my break. All right. Okay, uh, so now safe to keep playing. Could do a little more tonight. Yeah. Note to self, buy oil for that door. All right then. Ellipses. Mm hmm. Gil, you're in my spot, please. Oh, sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of Boss's chicken buckets. Did, Bada, did Boss ask you to do that? If I told you she did, would you believe me? Without a doubt. Let's go with that, then. <laughs> right. Greetings! Ah, Stella, what can I get you? I'll go with a Bleeding Jane today. Bleeding Jane for Stella. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, six. All blended. Dear, dear. Bleeding Jane. There you go. Here. Thank you. What brought you here today? Waiting for say? I came by myself, actually. I was in the area and stopped by to say hi. Also, as stalking Kira Mickey. Oh. It's pretty interesting, though. When I first saw you, I doubted, you, I doubted you'd ever come here again. Well, this place is comfortable, I must admit. So quiet and secluded. It's also clean, really clean. We made damn sure of that. Gil is the one you can know that, too. The guy takes pride in how clean he keeps things around here. If you ever need cleaning stuff, he's cleaning staff. He's a nice pick. Really? Ellipses. Just mm. looking out mm. for you after you get fired from here. Mm -hmm. He's a bit out of it today, though. Don't think too much about that. I see. Hey, Jill, have you heard of the new gold rush in the city? Gold rush? Everyone is paying small fortunes to get their hands on pieces of white knight suits. I think I heard or read something about that. But I'm having my doubts, so probably not. In any case, how is it a gold rush? Well, the tech behind the suits was always safely guarded after the events at the bank. Hmm. Oopsies. Sorry. After the events at the bank, the suits were remotely shut down, bricking many of them in the process. Many units dropped their armor right there and fled when the lynchings went on. Any white knight still stuck in their suit had to take the armor off manually to run away. It all happened in the middle of the lynching, so you'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. Mm -hmm. One of those uh, stories is happening over in Martinez right now. Yeah, yeah. That, that is kind of how that story starts. Yeah. Some weren't that lucky. They got beaten up while they weren't able to move. So between the suits becoming glorified paperweights and many white knights going on the run, there ended up being a lot of junk lying around. But the whole scientific community is rejoicing. They're on a race to reverse engineer the suits and take as much technology as possible from them. And of course, even single pieces of the armor fetch a high price these days. 
Could anyone see any profit from research just to, to justify those expenses? It's new tech, a whole new field right with patents just open for many. <laughs> so I'd say yes. Wouldn't the U.S., for lack of a better term, U.S. Army or U.S. government own those patents first before uh, getting them? Or is it just... is? Can you patent something that's top secret? That's a great question that I don't know the answer to. Can you make money off a thing that no one's allowed to know about? Huh. <laughs> I mean, the BTC is literally a conglomerate built upon pa patents and trademarks. I can see how. There is one weird case, though. Hmm. There's this guy named Jack. He's the captain of a very unique Blitzkrieg Corps unit. Didn't we hear about a guy named Jack? I feel like we did. Unique? Uh, the guy had a really small unit, five people, including himself. The aesthetics of his unit's armor were heavily modded to the point that they looked like a squad of henshin heroes. Oh, I I am recalling this story though. Yeah, so me too. We we didn't we didn't actually go through with it, but if we got say drunk the the first time she came to the bar, mm -hmm. uh, she would tell us she would get drunk and tell us all about the flamboyant uh, Jack Squad. I see. Hen what? Hen w Ellipses. <laughs> ah, Ahem. They looked really gaudy. Oh. No common writer today. Oh, well. But it turned out that the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. He has one of the few, if not the only, suits of armor with the OS intact. Mm -hmm. To say they're among the most wanted people would be an understatement. You know a lot about this. It's interesting the amount of things you hear when dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. It also helps to put on a front that makes people lower their guard. That should sound familiar to you. Hey, wait a minute. You can't just call me out like this. True. Wait. <laughs> Here's a freebie, a fun fact. The failsafe was originally going to involve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces. But regulations and laws didn't allow that kind of technology near civilians. I guess even Zybasi Court has its limits, huh? People love to demonize Zybasi Court because, uh, let's face it, they're far from innocent. But they're not evil overlords, they're just greedy. They're just a big corporation. They just so happen to have control over what tantamounts to a city-state. Uh, but corporations will naturally resort to draconian methods. Mm. It's only natural. You know, it's nature taking its course. <laughs> As put enough greedy, you, yeah. <laughs> you put enough greedy fuckheads in a room, they're gonna be like, behave like greedy fuckheads. Yeah, and then nature naturally uh, attracts anarchy. Yep, and guillotines. <laughs> and then there, and then there are the first, second, and last against the wall. Yeah, the life cycle continues. I've heard horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placement. If you so much as hold a bottle the wrong way or get in the way of a logo, you'll be in for lots of trouble. And let's not start with theme parks and the like. Those are dystopias of their own. Then again, most of that demonization is due to Quincy being such a clown. He has no power anyways. He's just the front that whatever council behind Zaibatsu Court chose. He makes a fool of himself, and the attention is taken away from whatever it is that Zaibatsu Corps is actually doing. Mm hmm. Again, video games are not political. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. So, what were you saying? So, what you were saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge theme park? Called the White Knights, glorified mall security in the past. So, yeah. Huh. Hmm. No, seriously, Hen what? Ahem. C can I get a Brantini here, please? Sure, sure. Let's give her a Brantini. No, seriously, Hen what? Hen what? What's a Henway? 
Oh, about five pounds. Oh, man. Learned that joke from Arthur when I was six years old. <laughs> there you go. Here. Thanks. So I take it you're in a good mood today? Does it show? A bit. Yeah, well. I managed to nab a couple of tickets for the Kid and Mickey Encore concert. Oh, good. I was worried that uh, we only got one ticket and we would need three. Nice. All right. As it turns out, she was just here. Again? Sorry. Again? Can't believe I just missed her. I was surprised, too. I was more surprised she remembered my name, though. And like the last time, she was quite the graceful client. Man, so those rumors about her being really nice in person were actually true? Amazing. I know, she even got me a ticket for the concert. She what? I had to twist some arms to get tickets for the Encore concert. And I'm rich. And not only did they get them, did you get them free, the idol herself gave them to you? Do you have any idea how jealous I am right now? We have all the power. It'll be interesting. You're gonna enjoy the hell out of it, trust me. This will be my first live concert of her, but I've seen every other concert of hers on video. They, they all have such a magical aura to them. Everyone says they have to be seen to be believed. You really like her music, huh? It makes me happy, what can I say? I love listening to it when I'm feeling down. Hell, it even helps me when I was worried sick about Say at the bank. It made me forget all my worries, even if even if for a while. Oh, I see. Ellipses. Say, Jill, you want to come to the concert with us? Us? I invited Say because I managed to get two tickets. You want to come with us both? I'd love to. I didn't want to go by myself, but... Are you okay with that? I don't want to be a burden. Of course, the more the merrier. Do you really believe me saying... Uh, she was just here that easily? You're not the kind to lie about stuff like that, so sure. Thanks, I guess. That said, can you go to the concert so easily? What about security and the like? My dad always has a unit keeping an eye on me from a distance. And you'd be surprised at how easily I can disguise myself with just a different hairdo and a cap. Yeah, you know, I, I've seen what the Spice and Wolf anime does, too. Uh, calls a disguise. It's true. And now I've flashed to the uh, Fire Emblem meme of they all just put on like uh, burlap robes and be like, yes, now we're perfectly disguised. <laughs> Still flaunting the anime hair. I see. I wonder if I could get in the disabled line with Say in her wounds. Although she'll probably nag me about how she doesn't need it, and we shouldn't abuse that. Yeah. Maybe for your uh, security guard with the uh, prosthetic leg. Hmm. Hey, can you get me a classic drink? Sure. It's all something classic now. Classic. Classic and class C E and different things. Yeah. Good old big beer. Big beer. Here. Thank you. Do you have many servants around the house still? I do, but they, they've been with us for so long. They're pretty much family. My dad has always said that if you earn someone's trust, they'll gleefully work for you, and everyone wins. We even had a young gardener that left to study engineering, and he actually came back. He still comes by every weekend to tend the plants. Man, that sounds, sounds nice. I mean, the plants belong to him now. Right? He's Let doing all the work. <laughs> Let me know if you're ever in need of a job. I might find you something. Thanks for the offer. Wait. Hmm? I just realized something's off with the whole tech gold rush story. What would it be? 
Wouldn't all the tech be patented, patented anyways? I get trying to crack in the first place, but... That would be true if the tech was patented in the first place. It isn't? Saibatsu have been so paranoid about making the White Knights untouchable, they never patented anything. A patent would be in a database that someone could hack and retrieve valuable info from. Not to mention they've been using tech from other companies without any authorization. Which they also don't want uh, on the record. I see. Mm. They're breaking know, patents. I know patent registry in their right mind would approve of that global shutdown signal. Let alone how it immobilized everyone still inside one of those suits. But you still made regulations like internally for what was over the line. Mm. So. So, yep. so the ones that were upholding the law did so using suits that are uh, by all means illegal. The irony runs deep, wouldn't you say? Why do it, though? When you have so much money, you start thinking you can screw around with the rules. Yeah, I've heard that quote before. Yep. All that power makes you think you're above every law there is. And the city is what happens when those with money start making the rules. I'm curious, though. Have you ever covered up any fuck-ups by using money? I think we're, we've all done things we're not too proud of at some point of our lives. Well, Jill, I gotta go. Always a pleasure. So that's a yes? <laughs> Please come again. Ah, Alma. No, hello? Hello, Titty Hacker. You're pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? It's basic courtesy. Something I will fight to uphold. First the greetings stop and saying please and thanks stops. And before, before you know it, boom, total anarchy. You're exaggerating. I am not. In fact, I'll go through that door again and I'll expect you to properly greet me this time. <laughs> yeah. You know the story about um, how the boomer generation gets uh, always uses thank you and the like millennial and on generation always uses no worries uh -huh. and how there's a bit of a culture class there from what people what they p think the other people intend by that use of phrase uh -huh. mm -hmm. all about yep. like I, who's obligated to get thank you in such session and such fine Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight dray, while I pondered, weak and weary, but... over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, n nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of some, w as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Lipsies. You overdid it. You totally overdid it. Quoth the bartender, I did not. <laughs> so, you like poetry? I had a phase. Can I get you something? Let's start with a big cobalt velvet. Sure. Cobalt velvet. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All on the rocks. And next. Cobalt velvet. Good. Here. Oh yeah, there's something I've been wondering about for a while. Hmm? Does the name Shadowmaster 69's Chronicles ring any bells? My secret shame. Uh, Ellipses. Wow, you went pale. Oh, that's exactly where the joke is going. Great. <laughs> no, no, the name doesn't ring any bells. May 22nd. Today, my daily card readings told me I meet great change thanks to an old man. My biology teacher told me I had been picked for an interschool contest of my latest essay. I just knew a scientific theory on the idea of auras was a re as revolutionary as I thought. Soon I'll bring the world into the occult science singularity. We really did have a face. 
Later entries don't seem to have gone well, that well, though. Mentions of being laughed at, being lectured on why the essay was wrong. Jill? I made sure to delete that blog. No evidence should be left. I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that have all that stuff archived. Everything stays on the internet forever. Don't think you're free. Why? Why? Relax, it's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Don't you realize how embarrassing it all is? We've all been young, Jill. Relax. It's not like you're still like that nowadays. That would be embarrassing. You're not still like that, right? Gods, no. I gave up on the whole occult stuff. Except for the whole ghost possession thing. Hmm. It just It's just that remembering all that stuff is... <laughs> I don't know. I like the way you looked. All dressed in black with that rare accessory popping out thanks to the colors. Oh god, there were pictures. I mean, at least you had the decency to use makeup and take care of yourself. So you have a pick. Oh god, you have a fucking pick. Why did you do this to me? Why do you dig out the sins of my past? I was bored. To test my abilities, Sasuke. Last Friday, I had to take my mind off the whole Diana thing, so I ran a small background check on you. Simple stuff, just checking past your internet activity. Just googling, just ego searching. Please don't run back che background checks like that. I just use a search engine, you know? I didn't request documents or anything. What led you to the page? Uh, you do realize your main mail account everywhere is still the one you used back then, right? Hmm. Yeah, don't have your email available publicly anywhere. Mm-hmm. Like I said, relax. You were obsessed with occultism. I wanted to kiss all the boys. And I kind of almost accomplished that in middle school, which still sort of haunts me today. All the boys. All of them. Uh, never underestimate the lengths old classmates will go to track you down. Oof. Burr. Especially, especially if they think you're still the girl that kissed them for fun and they're lonely to boot. We all have things we're not too proud of as adults. <sighs> now I know. Now I know how criminals feel with when evidence is used against them. I have to ask, though, why the 69? Do you have to ask? It was supposed to be a, the, it was supposed to be 69, not 69. Like, in reference to both the lovers and the hermit. Jill, that's a fucking lie. I, I was convinced it meant wise choices. <laughs> it's quite the opposite. Hmm. Jill, there's nobody that would read that as 6 9 I, I was 12 at the time. Even at 12, I fucking knew what a 69 was. Just how innocent were you back then? You have no idea. Well, let's sweeten up things a bit. I'll have a sugar rush. Sure. Sugar rush. Are they trendy now or something? Ooh. The cold sweats when your old past comes back. Oh, yeah. Well. Enjoy it. Here. This is the thing. Say, Alma, speaking of the past, what was your l last long-term relationship like? That's sudden. You dug through my past. I've earned the right to dig through yours. Fine, fine. Long-lasting relationships, huh? Romantic ones, I'm guessing? Yes. Well, I've had about four boyfriends who I describe as such that I've introduced to my family and all. The first one was in high school. I broke up with him because he cheated on me. I remember the other girl trying to pick a fight and me just saying, keep the fucker. The second one was during my freshman year. I broke up with him after he thought it'd be funny to punch me in the arm. He starts with a friendly hit, and before you know it... Anyways. 
Hmm. The other guy I met shortly after I dropped out. Mm. That may have gone a darker place. Hmm. He was interested in marriage, but he wanted to get married after only half a year or so knowing him. And then there's Richard. The dick. Who? I spent almost four years with him. We got along pretty well. We had awesome chemistry. I truly loved him. But as time went by, there was a rift that started separating us. He just didn't like my family. He didn't? Moreover, he wasn't a family person. He distanced himself from his own and voiced that he didn't want kids. There was a part of me that wanted to believe, even if just for a little bit, that maybe he'd change his mind. But as much as I loved him, that one detail brought a growing gap between us. At one point, I just had to break up with him. Hmm. But I'm not here to press you. Bring me a beer, will ya? Sure. Yeah, I guess if uh, she grew up with a big family, she'd want to have one of her own. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There, beer. Beer. Thanks for telling me that, by the way. Don't mention it. Okay, one more question and we're even. Wow, you really are embarrassed of that blog, huh? Sure, ask away. At what age did you get those implants in your boobs? Ellipses. Jill, I love you and I know you're saying that in jest. But I've lived through so many rumors about me getting plastic surgery that I can and won't take it as a joke. As such, and honoring our friendship, I'll just say this. They're real. And they're spectacular. More Einfeld jokes. I nearly said Simpsons jokes, which is half and half. Now ask the real question before I slap you. I'll grant you one, and only one chance to call me by my full name as a compensation, then. I gladly take your offer. It's funny that you mentioned slapping, because my real question was, why did you get your hands chopped? <laughs> chopped. Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first is that I spend lots of time typing, and those replacements help me avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. Oh, what a godsend. Oh. There's other utilities, like how I can interface with many devices. For example, there's a tiny computer embedded in my glasses. If I move my index finger, it acts like the computer's cursor. There's lots more, but there's small things that don't sound that impressive when I say it out loud. You know, when you you make the hand gesture and can make phone calls just by uh, holding up to your ear. Hmm. How did your family take the operation? They took it well enough, except for my mom. She freaked out for months. She went to the hospital to ask for my hands. Don't you miss them? Sometimes, but just during emotional moments. But as luck would have it, someone else has them. I figured that was uh, coming up. Shortly before my operation, there was an accident on the highway. One of the victims was this young lady whose right hand got completely crushed. I told them to check if we were compatible and all that. I mean, implants are not everyone's first choice so they can get a natural replacement. A bit of cosmetic treatment and it could pass off as her original hand with no problem. Last I heard, we were compatible, and the family agreed to the donation. I don't know what became of her, but I hope she's fine. And you didn't tell your mom about that? I didn't want her to pestering the poor girl. Asking for it back? Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. So are we cool now? Are we even now? Are we? You were pretty pissed about my comment regarding your boobs. Again, I'm sorry. It sounded a lot less rude in my head. Yeah, don't worry about that. Besides, I get to call you Julianne once. And you spent it. Yep. Now you don't. Eh? Why? You just called me by my full name. Are you serious? No, don't rules lawyer or genie. One chance and only one chance, and you just use it up. Damn it. Dinger. Surprise! Yeah, lips. Hey, Alma, this might be a weird tangent, but do you <gasps> believe in ghosts? Hey! 
Not particularly, no. Although there was this paper I read once that was quite interesting. Hmm? It proposed a scenario where nanomachine clusters would leave the body after death. And then acted as a collective hive mind through residual brain waves. Like a soul leaving the body. But it's all just tiny, tiny robots. Interesting. The result would basically be an image not unlike a hologram. It's an interesting sci-fi way of making ghosts. Of course, the hypothesis fell through because such nanomachine density is impossible in a body. Even 5% of the amount needed is enough to make the blood too dense for the heart. And it's not like brain waves are potent enough to create those reactions. Still an interesting read, though. I see. Hmm. Don't give me that look. It's not my fault you convinced yourself that you're crazy. <laughs> well, I'll leave. I'll leave then. See you tomorrow. See ya. All done? I am, but what about you, Gil? Ellipses. For some reason, the idol girl left him like that, it seems. You think? It might have been while he was out. True. Hey, boss, you're a fan of wrestling, aren't you? I mean, you were a wrestler, so... That I am, yeah, why? I was wondering, isn't wrestling fake? Aren't you Twin Tails for little girl? Aren't Twin Tails for little girls and teens with eighth grade syndrome? Wow! <laughs> Don't dish it if you can't take it. Oh boy! Eighth grade what? Chunibio. When you get down to it, wrestling is as real as a soap opera. I mean, you don't really expect a legal lawsuit to be fixed in a ring, right? But the TV said... Sure, in my ideal world, you would solve legal problems through good old wrestling, but... Ahem. No, seriously, 8th grade what? But you don't get around calling soap operas fake. It's a show, it just happens to use fights as an expression. You might as well see it as a unique form of theater. Uh, the modern day Shakespeare's. Besides, considering the injuries many wrestlers suffer, it's not all fake. Huh, I didn't think about it like that. I didn't think about it that way. Sadly, I won't stand for anyone badmouthing wrestling. So now I have to go and break Gil's back to make you humble. <laughs> oh, well, wait, what? Come here, fuck boy! Fuck boy! Fuck boy! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> For Gil. Eighth grade what? No concern about what's going on over there. Absolutely not. Who would have thought we'd get a bona fide idol in the bar? Total fucks. Okay. We're over the line. Mm, We're over good. the finish line with uh, two Oof. days to spare. Now we just need to uh, not get distracted anymore. Jill. Oh, thank God, this was that was today. Oh, woof. Oh, wow. You were charged 10000 for for your rent. Have a nice day. Jill will have a roof over for another month. The sense of relief will make sure she stays focused at worth. We have a roof over our heads for another month. Yay. My heart rate oh. went up just a little bit there. Yeah. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, boy. Wow. Right. Yeah. Oh, God, it is the 30th. Jeez Louise. Well. All right. So Oof. I think we get to call it there. Yep. Uh, I don't think we'll actually finish. We'll either finish next week or go long next week. Yeah, probably. So. so let's. Uh, we're going to do more days of this. Yeah. Hey. Good times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what have we got going on? Uh, so we we started tweeting out the uh, schedule for the week now, uh, which means yeah, uh, I think that goes line. Yeah, here we go. Uh, nothing tomorrow. Thursday, uh, Jet's back with a astral train, and so we started that uh, last week. And it's been going through it. Uh, new episode of the podcast, Summer of the Movies, 
uh next time it's gonna be weathering with you mm. sunday is pokemon and i the somnium files nirvana initiative i have now completed the game and can join in on chat i've learned the secret of the world uh yeah was up until 3 a.m uh playing that uh playing that epilogue especially yeah, and then uh monday i'll be back with another session of uh Sh fire emblem echoes jazz over volunteer i'm enjoying the uh there's a lot of like royal court dialogue in, in that style of writing not just the old-timey swears medieval swears oh yeah uh what else we got going on let's see who is live right about now uh ram key is live I usually like going to uh raid them so let's do that all right thanks for coming everyone we will uh Catch you soon.